there are a few probably tips that I hope might work for you. You know, first one is you have to make sure that your LinkedIn is well done and it is also in tandem with whatever resume you have there. Some organizations will never employ you till they check your LinkedIn. That's number one. Number two, your resume has to be good. You need to have a good resume that is at the same time robust as it is dynamic. In other words, it will be able to fit different types of roles. Now, the problem of having 10 different resumes is you get confused sometimes. Which one did I send to this people? Which one? And then I know I've experienced that before. I sent, I applied for a certain role, but as it turned out, the resume I had submitted to them was different from the one I was reading when I was doing the interview. So you can imagine the embarrassment that came with it. So just make a kind of a dynamic and um, robust. And then the second one, the interviews, it's absolutely important. Now, remember, the only thing they know about you is what you tell them during the interview. That's all. It's, it's marketing. you selling yourself. Grammar is absolutely important. It's absolutely important. I told my kids something. I said, Julius Caesar was killed March 15, 44 BC. Thousands of people have written the story of how he got murdered, how he was killed. But when Shakespeare wrote his own version in the 15th century, it was so beautifully written that it has now become like the official narrative of the murder of Julius Caesar. But that he, he wasn't the only guy that wrote it, but it was how he wrote it. I mean, some of you must have read um, Fyodor Dostoevsky's uh, Crime and Punishment or Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace. It's not so much about the stories. It's how the stories were written. You write something in a very elegant and captivating manner. The person you're talking to or the person who's in it does not forget. It's important that you get your grammar very well and you're able to express yourself properly. That does not mean to speak with an American accent. Everyone has their own accent. Speak with your own accent, but just be eloquent and try to make little or no grammatical error. It's important. Never ever stutter or show signs of lack of confidence. For instance, you go for a visa interview to get the US visa. So they say, so when is, when is your birthday? And then you go, uh, when is my birthday? I'm not going to get the visa. Or they ask you, how would you approach problem X, Y, Z. And then you go, thank you very much for that question. How I will approach problem X, Y, Z, you're not gonna get the job. You have to be fluent. It's important. I mean, you all know President Obama, right? You just have to be able to say something so elegantly that everyone is captivated. Maybe by the time they get to their house, they realize you've said nothing. But when you are saying it, it sounded beautiful. So you have to learn that. You have to learn that. You have to learn to be able to sound very articulate. It's important. During interviews, they listen to you more than you talk. You probably don't know. They listen to you more than you talk. And all those little things, particularly when you have to meet board members, matter how you articulate yourself. Do not repeat the questions that they ask you. Answer it. And then number two, when they ask you questions about things that are not in your resume, don't play smart by trying to kind of like fabricate uh, an answer the ostensible reason is that i want to show that i'm capable but the truthful thing is you would say ma'am or sir i don't think that is in my resume i don't think i uh, made a claim of having confidence in that particular skill that is also honesty maybe maybe they knew but they just wanted to try you out so you just tell it to them you said that's just not it never sound desperate too when i did my interviews every time i did my interviews i felt that i was kind of like leading the way uh, the path that the interview took but you do that in such a subtle way so that you don't sound like um, a smart aleck nobody likes a smart aleck and i was so fortunate that i was able to get two jobs with kpmg and with wells fargo and they were both, they were both extremely fantastic jobs it can happen to you.